Hi there, everyone. Uh, welcome to this brief slide presentation about Cushing syndrome. I just thought it would be helpful at this point in the project to sort of provide some visual aids um, with some commentary on them to sort of uh, help as we walk through um, Cushing syndrome in some more detail. So this first slide here balances the key to life. I think it's just really important to keep this in mind when we're talking about um, endocrine disorders. So the endocrine system is amazing at keeping our body in homeostasis. So making sure that the proper hormones are being secreted or inhibited at the perfect times according to our environments and all this other, you know, stimulation that's happening in our lives. And so it's really important to keep this in mind that it's such a fine line. And um, even though our body is amazing at keeping this balance, there are situations that occur that sort of cause this balance to slip. And um, so that's kind of what I want this presentation to convey. So the next slide will just show you a brief animation of what the hypothalamus, pituitary, and adrenal glands um, are doing when they're functioning in synchronicity. The stress response. In stressful situations, the body switches on its autonomic nervous system and neurobiological processes in an attempt to maintain homeostasis. The body is prepared for its reaction to stress. In the brain, the hypothalamus is connected to the pituitary gland. The hypothalamus stimulated by the sympathetic nervous system releases the hormone corticotrophin releasing factor CRF. The CRF activates the pituitary gland to release the adrenocorticotrophic hormone ACTH. This in turn alerts the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands are located on top of each kidney. The ACTH from the pituitary gland stimulates the adrenal cortex to release cortisol. At the same time Neurons in the hypothalamus signal the medulla to release epinephrine, adrenaline, and norepinephrine, noradrenaline. These hormones then push the body into hyperalertness. Okay, so I think that animation does a really good job of sort of showing the normal mechanisms that are going on with your hormones in a stress response. So this then visual image here I think is helpful when trying to figure out um, in the forms of endogenous Cushing syndrome sort of what the mechanisms are looking like um, in each of those scenarios. So scenario A is when things are going right. So if, as you saw in that animation the hypothalamus releases CRH or uh, CRF to the which then signals to the pituitary to release ACTH, which then signals the adrenals to release cortisol. Cortisol then feeds back so that CRH and ACTH production um, stops. So in scenario B then, this is Cushing's disease, which is a cause of um, endogenous Cushing syndrome. And the problem is with the pituitary gland. Um, it's a pituitary tumor that secretes high levels of ACTH. So this secretion of ACTH is signaling the adrenal glands to secrete cortisol. So um, even though the body's not in a stress response, you're seeing high levels of cortisol in this situation. In scenario C, the problem is with the adrenals. You can see that small red dot there signifies an adenoma, which is a benign tumor, but in Cushing's they're functioning, so they're releasing hormones. So this an adenoma is releasing high levels of cortisol, which is then um, telling the hypothalamus that um, CRH is not needed, so ACTH production is downregulated in this situation. In scenario D, this is the least likely cause of Cushing's, and it's a carcinoma in the lung, and this carcinoma is secreting ACTH, so ACTH levels are going to be high in this case. Um, ACTH is then telling the adrenal gland to release high levels of cortisol. So ACTH and cortisol will be high in that, in, um, that scenario. Um, so I think that's helpful to just kind of take a look and be able to really visualize um, what's going on in, in these different 
types of Cushing's and which hormones are high or low or inhibited or being secreted. So um, now that that's out of the way, we can move on toward the um, signs and symptoms of Cushing's.